Hey, girl, hey. Hey, boy, hey. I just want to remind you guys that the code for the CMOS changed. This code includes a discount on the the gel, the, 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 the what are they called? The candies, as well as the CMOS. The code is now Craig the Writer. The code is now Craig the Writer for BeHaitiBloom.com. And you get your discount on your on your CMOS as well as the um, the CMOS gel. I mean, you know, the candy, the edibles. But at any rate, um, Madison and I are planning to do a fag talk tomorrow. Good day, thinkers, thought leaders, progressives, and dreamers. Hi, Gail Franklin. I'm Craig the Writer Student. This is the Facebook and YouTube live versions of so much to say. These are my thoughts and my voice on black shit, white shit, gay shit, and everything in between. I'm feeling a little out of sorts today. I'm glad it's Friday. Thank you very much to Dana Moore and uh, my girl, Mabrina, and um, Valerie Brown for the Zell for $5 Friday. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. Thank you to Jose Roble and Barbara Hyman and Lamika Woodbury for sending something for Fine Nigga Friday. Amen. But yeah, so I got some errands on. I got book orders to ship out. Thank you for purchasing books through CraigTheWriterStewart.com. I appreciate that. I'm going to ship those out while I'm out. I got to go to the grocery store. I got to go to Sam's Club. I got to go to the gym. Trust me when I tell you, I don't feel like being out of the house. It just stopped raining about an hour ago. And um, it was just raining. Like, niece, now I got to get over. You see these people getting onto the highway now. Don't you hate when you try to get over and somebody won't let you merge? Now you see these people trying to get onto the highway. I'm trying to get out of their way. I wish she got her driver's license. You know what, um, Alicia? I stopped going to Amazon Fresh. Oh my, I'll be using Amazon Fresh. Oh my God, it's been, I think I've only used them a few times at, at the house. And that was like when I first got there. I stopped using them once my mother came down here because she was always dragging me to Walmart. Go figure. But I don't even go to Walmart to grocery shop. But I get so much of my produce from Aldi's and I get some of my seafood from Aldi's because they have those large um, tiger shrimp. And then they have like those large scallops and whatever I don't get from there, I tend to get from Trader Joe or um, Sam's Club, which I'm on my way to Sam's Club. My Brina, thank you very much. She said to my um, big brother, thank you very much for that. I appreciate it. She had pulled me together that time at that, at that, at that event. Amen. I was got to remind her. She said, my name is not May Brina. It's my Brina. I said, oh, I beg your pardon. I, I, I beg my I beg my part. But I'm trying to hurry up and get to the gym while there's no traffic, like while people are still at work. But it's Friday, so I know people left early or didn't go to work today. And uh oh, I had some grits this morning. Well not this morning, a little while ago. I made shrimp and grits. You can't tell me my shrimp and grits aren't good. Okay. But it's a little bit of grits or something up in my. You know how like popcorn has like those little shells on it. You ever notice that the grits has that too? You ever notice that? Grits has that too. Um, I don't know what happened with my magnesium pills. You know, I've been taking my magnesium pills every day, and I don't know what happened to them. I just took a picture and sent somebody a picture of them to tell them what kind to get. And now I can't find my magnesium pills. I, I was keeping them right beside my bed because I was taking them at night. Oh, grits of ground corn. I didn't know that. I did not know that. Um, uh, Chunk said I can't find the. Chunk said she can't find. She can't find the the tiger shrimp anymore? My God, look at that. Uh, 
And it's not because I told everybody about him, because y'all don't even go to the same Aldi's that I go to. I don't even go to the same same Aldi's that I go to. Um, but yeah, so I really don't have a lot of energy today. I think I'm gonna go to the gym first. I'm still kind of hungry because I, I didn't eat until about an hour, 45 minutes ago. Uh, t- look at Chunk, talking about Tanny, you right. Now it's my fault. I didn't say that when y'all ran y'all asses over to the Trader Joe's and snatched up all of the damn um, jerk snaps or snacks, whatever they are, jerk plants and chips, and I couldn't find them. I, I didn't say that when y'all, wait, did y'all ever go and watch the um, the Jennifer Lewis conversation with Robin Roberts? I know some of y'all had watched it. But, but did the rest of you go and look at it? My teeth are exceptionally white. That's all that oil pulling needs. I got the oil pulling stuff in my Amazon storefront. It's under health, beauty, and wellness. Because this is a part of beauty. Listen, my teeth are white, white. They don't just whiten your teeth, though. They also remove all that plaque and stuff that's, that you got down on your gum line because you ain't brushing your teeth at night. You did eat all that food throughout the day. All that candy, cookies, planting chips tiger shrimp, salt and vinegar potato chips. And then you go to bed and you don't even brush your teeth. You don't even get some of that stuff from it between your teeth. I know it was so sad, Tanny. Oh, Deb said, don't talk to me like that. You know, you ain't, you ain't even touched no floss. You didn't climb your ass in the bed. You done took your sh- shoes off, your you, you know your slippers off, and, and and took that bra off, and laid down in that bed, and ain't even bothered. You ate ate some Girl Scout cookies, you ate all of that junk, and ain't took no piece of floss, and went pa- past your teeth, ain't brushed your tongue. That's why your breath so damn hot when you wake up in the morning. My Amazon link is in the caption of the video. Can somebody put Can somebody put the link for the Amazon store down there? It's it's a few different links. Who was it that asked me that? Uh, Joanne, it's a few different links. It's like four or five, and I broke it up. So, like, there's some, there's a link for health, beauty, and wellness. So, like, the oil pulling, the navel pulling stuff, um, a bunch of different things that I use, like skin cream, skin care stuff. That's under health, beauty, and wellness. But then there's a link for, like, the pajamas that I wear that some of you have asked about. Then I have a section for home goods where, like, the diffuser that is controlled by Amazon. I mean, Alexa is on there. And then I have technology, which is like gadgets and stuff that I use that people have asked. But listen, back to y'all not brushing your teeth at night and flossing. Now, I've pretty much been saying that since I started going live, I've been encouraging you guys to brush your teeth and floss your teeth and your tongue. And uh, Mr. D said he he he, mm, he he sure ain't got no bra on. Mr. D said he ain't got no bra on. Titty's just loose in the bed. Okay, he ain't got no negligee on. He just got mm, he ain't brushed his teeth, ain't brushed his tongue, ain't flossed, and you got all of that sludge in between your teeth and on your gum line. And see, that's why uh, Cheryl. Now listen, if I eat my sweet heats, which by the way they are gone, they've been gone. I do brush my teeth at night. And I oil pull. That oil, that oil pulling is really good for you because it gets in between your teeth where floss can't go. Amen. And if you're really doing it properly, huh? Now what you can do is you can floss first, then oil pull, and then you brush right after, and then you spit that stuff out. Now make sure you spit that oil in the trash can. You don't put that down your toilet and down your drain because don't be talking to me about you had to call a plumber. And at least, you know, just like when you fry that fish and that chicken don't spit this down the drain either but when you flaw when you oil pull and you move mo- swishing it through your teeth and stuff like that you should probably feel like some little particles amen because it's getting down in the gum bed the gum bed you should oil pull for about five minutes now, i know that sounds like a long time but what i usually do is in the morning for example like because I, I mean i don't necessarily oil pull every night now i do brush but if I don't oil pull the night before when I know I should have, I'll go and do it in the morning. And what I'll do is I'll put it in my mouth. Oh, that didn't even sound right. 
I'll start oil pulling. I'll swish it around real good. Then I'll go into the kitchen and I'll start getting my stuff ready to juice. Yeah, you, you really should do it for about 10 minutes. I'm just saying five. Lean into it, niece. Lean into it. And then what I do is I start, that cop is sexy right there. I will um, oil pull. I'm looking at the mirror. But I will oil pull and I'll be swishing around while I'm getting my produce and stuff ready to juice. Because, you know, I soak my produce for a little while. Like I pro soak it in some baking soda. I always want to say powder, but it's soda. And then I go back. By the time I do all of that, look, Sarita's on my damn, can we see him? Uh, and once I do all of that, then it's time for me to go ahead and I, by the time I put my juicer together and all of that stuff, if I didn't put it together the night before, it's time for me to spit it out. Amen. It's time to spit it out at that point. And so that's how I do it. I can't stand going to the post office. Do you hear me? I can't stand going to the post office. Now, again, since there's a bunch of you all in here watching now, don't forget that the promo code for the CMOS has changed. It is now Craig the Writer. And with this promo code, you can get your discount on your CMOS as well as the, the gummies that she has over there. Okay? The CMOS gummies. Now, I'm going to change this because I haven't put the P.O. box down here in a while. And um, don't forget to sign up for pay for your SAGs. I know some of you have already... Uh, gotten paid today. Some of you have already collected your taxes. Go ahead and set yourself up for the next year with that extra income. Now, there are some things that I want to talk about real quick. And I plan on going into more about it tomorrow on Fag Talk. Um, but, you know, have you, first of all, let me say this. Now, you know, they gave um, Fani the approval to go ahead and still try Trump to, to, to proceed with this case. Now, Nathan Wade got to come off of it. But that's fine. But Fani is in the clear to go ahead and prosecute. Amen. But the thing that I was about to jump into was this whole TikTok ban. This whole TikTok ban. Now, here's what's interesting about me. I'm kind of hungry. I'm going to have to. I'm going to have to reschedule, reroute my, my path here. I'm going to need to get me a smoothie because I'm still hungry. And then I'm going to go ahead and get me a. Um, and then I'm going to go ahead and get my groceries, then I'm going to circle back to the, you know, I'm going to get me a smoothie, then maybe I'm going to go to the post office and ship these orders out, and then I'm going to hit that gym, and then, now, let me figure this out, but I'm going to get me a smoothie, I do need to do that, but here's the thing, oh yeah, I could get me an avocado toast, where's the Dunkin' Donuts? Is there a Dunkin'? This one down here on Ponce, that's gonna kind of take me out of my way. I could have got off on that exit. I did used to um, um, have my groceries delivered, but once I started going to Aldi's and getting, because you know, I juice every day, it's just, it's just better. I just like, it's just cheaper. You know what I mean? It's just cheaper. Instead of, you know, doing that. But anyway, let me talk about this ban of this TikTok. Here's the thing. They want to ban. There's several, there are several think pieces out here about why they want to ban TikTok. Now, for those of you who may not know, TikTok is owned by a Chinese company. And what they're trying to suggest is that just like what happened when Trump won the election that first time, um, Russia influenced us through facebook and stuff like that were to um were able to convince us or you know alter the election break the election well with TikTok, the government is now saying no i want no avocado toast i want a smoothie the government is now saying that because it's a chinese company they could influence Americans again and interfere in our politics, our elections, and just da 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 because all your data is over there, like your name, your address, and whatever, whatever, whatever. So they're saying, American government is saying, unless they sell 50% of TikTok to an American company, 
they're going to ban it. So in other words, you won't even be able to download TikTok to your phone. You won't, even if you do have it on your phone, it won't work, right? And um, and they're saying that for every account that they allow or something, they're gonna charge them like five thousand. They're gonna penalize them like five thousand dollars per account or some shit. Long story short, some are saying so. Both sides of government have come together. The Democrats and the Republicans have unanimously decided that they're gonna ban it. So it's already made it through the House of Representatives. They've already agreed to ban it. Now it has to go to the Senate. They're not they're not expecting it to be passed through the Senate. But Joe Biden has said if it goes through the Senate, that he's gonna sign it. And so then it won't be able to work unless they sell 50% of the company to an American company. But some are saying Mark Zuckerberg and uh Jeff Bezos are greasing the palms, paying off these people on both sides of the aisle. Because TikTok is starting to impact Instagram and Facebook. People aren't spending as much time on those platforms as they are on TikTok. Because see, even, even some of you old folks are over. I'm, I'm not old. Yeah, I'm still young. <laughs> um, but some of you all folks are even over there working TikTok, y'all dancing, y'all retired, and y'all dancing and stuff, making videos. But here's the thing. They're saying that they're behind it, Jeff Bezos and Mark Zuckerberg, because they want TikTok to be gone. And not only because we're spending less time on uh, 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 Amazon and, I mean, you know, uh, Facebook and Instagram, but you're spending less money on Amazon. Doesn't mean we're not still buying stuff on Amazon, but that TikTok shop, people are buying from the TikTok. I just ordered some stuff last night from the TikTok shop. And um, because I always compare the prices, I'll go over to on Amazon and I'll type it in. And a lot of times those products are over on Amazon and I'm able to see how much they cost. And if, the, if I got a better deal over there on Amazon, then I buy from Amazon. But if not, I buy it on TikTok. Like I bought a few things on TikTok and TikTok ships out quickly. So Jeff Bezos doesn't like that. Even though he's the richest man in the world, he's a trillionaire, da da da, da he still doesn't want you to be shopping over there on TikTok. He's, he's already starting to see what's happening. But here's the thing. My thought is, they don't want us on TikTok because it's allowed us to really galvanize as a country. We're able to show what's going on in, the, in politics. Um, and we're able to mobilize, you know, behind issues like uh, 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 black issues, like black these Karens and stuff that are happening. We're able to see a lot of that stuff. Not to say that it's not happening on Instagram, but it's happening faster on TikTok because people are spending more time on TikTok. And, and issues like Palestine, we're seeing all of this stuff going on with Palestine over there. Like it's, people are mobilizing behind real life issues because of TikTok. Because you know, they banning a lot of shit over there on uh, Amazon, I mean, over there on, uh, Instagram and Facebook, you know, they shadow banning and all this other bullshit that they do. And then you can't, you don't see all of your followers and your followers don't see your stuff and the algorithm and blah, 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 blah. Not to say they don't have an algorithm over there on TikTok, but you understand what I'm saying. And like there, I don't spend a lot of, I mean, I watch stuff on TikTok. I spend time over there watching stuff. But I don't really post a lot of stuff over there because I'm just at the point where I'm tired of like managing all of these different social media platforms. But people are growing their following a lot quicker. You need to fix these raggedy ass straights. Because if you fuck up one of my tires, I'm taking a picture of it and the hole, and I'm sending it to my friend who happens to be the mayor of Atlanta. And I'm like, uh, anything come for me? <laughs> Can y'all, I'm gonna need y'all to fix my wheel. But also, there are so many, TikTok is responsible for 
so many small business owners. Do you know how many people have made so much money over there off of their little small businesses? And not only that, these TikTok creators are making so much money because you're able to, 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 to garner a following a lot faster than you are on, on Instagram and Facebook. I believe if I was spending more time over there and posting more content, I would probably have more followers than I have even on YouTube. And I would probably be getting a check over there on TikTok. I don't get a check from TikTok because I don't spend time over there and I don't really post over there. But uh, uh, you get what I'm saying. And so, um, yeah, I noticed that too, Lauren. I'm noticing that too. And um, so it's just a lot going on. And so I really think, and they don't, they don't really want, they don't really want us to be woke, so to speak, right? And I think that's really why they're trying to ban it. I think it has less to do with um, this company being in China. I think it has less to do with that. But I will tell you, that the Chinese don't allow their children, they don't have the same version of TikTok that we have. And they don't allow their children to be on it the way that we are. It's regulated over there. Just so you know. But if they ban TikTok, there will be a lot. I thought I, I thought immediately, immediately. Listen, I texted him the other day and I said, you better be glad that I pushed you to get your ass over there on YouTube because because TikTok was his main source of income. And I said, sir, I'm going to need you to stream that stuff over there on, on YouTube as well. And he didn't went and pat, surpassed me on YouTube. But here's the thing. Oh, here's my place right here for the smoothie. I'm so busy talking. I almost missed the smoothie place. Um, I sure hope there ain't no line in here. Girl, what are you doing in this Toyota Camry? He backing out like he in a damn limousine. Back that car up and get on out the way. Um, But here's the thing. I really kind of feel like I'm not going to make it to the gym today. I really want to go, but I'm just like, I just got too much to do. Um, But I thought about Keith Lee. Now, Keith Lee is at the point now where I'm sure... He'll be able to pivot, but that that TikTok is a huge part of his um, is a huge part of his income. I was watching something one day. Somebody was breaking down how much he makes on YouTube. I mean, on TikTok, and they were saying he makes about fifty thousand dollars a month. And so that's a lot of money to be losing if they close that down. But see, this is why it's important to be everywhere. This is why it's important to be everywhere, you know, because it is important, you know, because if he's getting a check like that over on YouTube and, you know, because like he has a presence on Facebook and YouTube, but he's not, he he's not as powerful over there. I mean, he definitely makes, he has a presence, but he ain't, get, I don't, I looked, I've looked at his stuff. I don't think he's making the, the money that he makes on those other platforms. You, first of all, Instagram don't even pay like that. I mean, they pay for reels, but they don't pay at that level. That's why I don't fool with Instagram like that. But my concern is a lot, is more so about all of the small businesses over there that have flourished. And this is why I say to you guys all of the time, you need to subscribe over at CraigTheWriterStewart.com. So I, I don't send out a bunch of emails. I don't. But you need to subscribe over there. Oh. Because if, if YouTube gets snatched down, I, I, I do think, no, Sh Shani, is it Shani? Well, let me say this first, then I'll come back to that. This is why I say to you guys all the time, subscribe to my website so that if they shut down If they shut down YouTube, you'll still be able to find me. This is why it's important to have your own 
platform. Like I have my own website now. I don't, I can't, not that I know of, I can't stream from my website, but trust, believe and know if they shut down YouTube and Facebook, I would surely try to figure out how to do it. I would try to figure out how to stream directly from CraigTheWriterStuart.com. And then if I, if I end up doing something in the future, like a TV show or like I'm putting out new content or whatever, I could still reach you through my website. I don't have to rely on, you know, and this is why when the children were, were scared when they were going to shut down OnlyFans, it's like you need to own your content. You need to put your stuff someplace where it doesn't matter if they shut it down. But back to what Shani was saying, I think, I think TikTok creators, are clear of the damage that it can do. You know what I mean? Like everything, anything that's not in moderation can be bad for you, right? Even if you take too many vitamins, that can be too bad. That could be bad for you, right? So I just think that it, it can become a mindless kind of thing. Like think about how you get stuck on an app, sitting there looking at it. And so, um, I think that they recognize that. And there's something on Netflix. I told you guys about it before. I don't remember the name of it, but there's some some movie. Let me get in here because the line that went down. I was trying to wait for this line to go down so I could keep talking to y'all. There's some um there's some show over on um Netflix, and it's about like Google and Instagram and like the people who work for those companies. They don't allow those people who created those companies. They don't allow, allow their children to be on those apps at all, like Instagram and shit like that, because they understand that it's dangerous. And it, and it, hi, and it stunts your growth. It stunts your development. And so they don't even allow their children to get on it. Do y'all remember what, what I'm talking about? Uh, what what show that is? Yes, Nico. The CMOS is available. The promo code has changed though. Um, I'm putting it. There it is at the bottom right now. The promo code is now Craig the Writer because that promo code includes a discount on the CMOS as well as the as well as the gummies. That's it. It's called Social Dilemma. That's exactly it. Dominique. Thank you, Dominique. Dominique. But yeah, that's it. The social dilemma. That's exactly it. But if you watch that, when they talk about it, they said we don't have our children watch we don't allow our children to even get on social media because they understand that the poison. Right. And so um, and I think the same is true for TikTok. The TikTok creators, they recognize that that shit is detrimental. And, and like what's really happened is when you go on TikTok, you, you learn a lot. You really do learn a lot, depending on who you're following, which goes back to what I've said so many times, time and time again. Be clear about the, what, you're, what you're digesting in terms of your songs, your TV who you following on social media, like that's going to curate what you see coming down your timeline. Hold on one second. Let me order my thing. Hi. Right. I, want, I want something really nice and fruity, but good, but, you know, healthy too, because I haven't really eaten today. That's it right there. Thank you. I love when somebody just, yeah, that's it. That's it. Um, but I think that, um, you know, going back to what I said before, like, protecting your chi because if you're watching if you're watching a bunch of gossip um blogs and paying attention to all of that kind of stuff and you're following this and, and no nothing again well I, it is something against the shade room but when you follow just the shade room and all that kind of trash that's the stuff that you're going to see coming down your timeline facebook or instagram they're going to curate they're going to curate uh what comes down your timeline based on what you're following based on what you're hitting like on and shit like that so like if you're following like wholesome shit then that's what you're going to mostly see you're still going to see all this other shit coming down your timeline but it'll curate some better stuff for you and so um i just think it's interesting but i mean people are learning a whole lot on TikTok, and like i said more than anything people are galvanizing and mobilizing and getting more involved in the political process because TikTok really was for younger kids, even though a lot of older people are getting on it now and that kind of thing. Um, I agree, Lee, I, I agree. Um, but they, polit the, uh, Democrats and uh, Republicans, they recognize that young folks are becoming more enlightened by watching 
for being on TikTok, being involved on TikTok. And they don't want that. But isn't it fascinating how both sides of the aisle came together to ban this, but they can't come together in reparations? They can't come together and make some sort of a hate crime for black people or like you understand what I'm saying? Like they can come, they can, they can agree on that, but they can't figure out nothing else to come together on. <laughs> Shotty is a mess. Oh my God, that is too funny. Let me go over here and pay for my smoothie needs. Oh, I'm clicking on the wrong thing. Oh, that's your phone number. Oh, okay. So I can get my points? Yeah, all those Oh, this right one. Thank you. You're so welcome. You are on it today. Let me just tell you, we have customers who like, oh, and then people were like, these two ladies were like, I don't need your, what are you doing? What are you doing? We found an issue with your profile. We got it. So we okay. got an issue on that okay. side. Okay. Okay. Listen, it's a world. <laughs> Thank you. But yeah, these two ladies were like, I was here, nobody asked me to be They're almost done. Like, Why? Why they can't figure out gun laws? Why they can't come together on gun laws? But it's just yeah. like, how, why they can't come together on gun laws and all this whole other stuff, but you can come together to man TikTok? Like, that's crazy. That is insane. Yeah. So, Thank you so much. Have a good one. You too. Let us know what you think. Okay. Right. Have a great weekend. Yeah. Oh. Hold on, niece. Let me get back in the car. Oh. Ah. Oh. Father. Oh. Hold on. I got to put y'all back up in the window. Can I get a window seat? Don't want nobody. I don't know what you just typed, uh, Duran. I was trying to figure out what you were trying to say. Right, why they can't figure out immigration and education and all, gentrification and all of the things. Speaking of gentrification, I was thinking about that the other day. I'm going to tell you all a story. Y'all ready for this? Yeah, I got it. Thank you, Lisa. I sure did. Thank you. I got a story for y'all. So remember when my house was almost burglarized a year ago? It was a year ago this month. You're new here? You didn't know about that? Hold on. Let me show you the video. I had posted across all my social medias, but I know some of you are new here. You're just finding me, and that's okay. I'm going to show you the video. Hold on. When I say it was 80 degrees yesterday, baby, I turned off all of the heat and I opened up the windows to around the house. Let me find this video for y'all. And immediately, thank you, Kendra Mitchell. Immediately the day after I went and bought a gun, okay? So you come over there this time, again, un unannounced if you wanna. So let me paint the pictures, niece. It was this time last year and I had left the house because my friend Dan... I need to be driving. I got shit to do. I'm sitting here playing with y'all. I'm sitting here. I'm sitting here playing with y'all. Let me put the AC on a little bit because it's a little warm in here. And so I had gone over to a friend's house. I was with my friend. Um, my friend Danielle was down in New York. My friend Danielle was here from New York. And um, she had called me. To make a very long story short, she convinced me to come out of the house. I was not going to come out of the house because it was a Sunday evening. It was about 930. It was raining profusely. And even though my car is parked right outside my front door in the driveway, which you know how when it's raining like hard, hard, you don't even want to step outside even though the car is right there. I didn't even want to be bothered. So to make a very long story short, because you know I can be labor a point. Um, my friend Kim said to me the other day, honey, you tell every detail. She said, you can just, you, you paint the picture. You tell every detail. You can see what happened, where you were, what was going on. I said, girl, I think that's why they love me on the live, because I'm such a storyteller. <laughs> ah, I make myself laugh. So anyway, Danielle convinced me to leave the house. So I left the house an hour after I left the house. So this was like 930. I left the house. 1030. 
this son of a gun. Let me pull over so y'all can see this. Let me pull over because I got the video ready. I didn't queued up the, the video. Thank you, Antoinette, for the cash app. Do y'all hear the rain? Listen to the rain. Look at him coming up the steps. And he got a little gun or something. That's the rain that you hear. He's looking all in my back door. You heard that you heard you heard that camera whistle. You heard that camera whistle. It was like, okay, we see you. So he looked up at the camera and then he left. So my next door neighbor was calling me to tell me that somebody tried to break in my house. So he came in on one side and there was another guy on the other side of the house. My phone was on do not disturb. And at the time, I didn't realize that I could change the notifications for the home alarm so that even though the phone is on do not disturb, I could still get notifications from the home alarm system and just other things like that. You can, you can change your settings on certain things. So that's how I have it set up now. Because my phone still goes on do not disturb. Please believe. Robin, it's funny you say that because I was going to say picture it. <laughs> this time, last year. Um, so the next day I went and got a gun. So I'm minding my business the other day. This was the day I told you I got locked out of the house. I was down. I spent the night downstairs and when I came out, Anyway, that story is going to be on Patreon. I'm going to upload that. I haven't uploaded it yet. Locked myself out of the house the other day. So when I went to the barber shop the other day. Oh, I, I got a gun. I put a storm door on my back door. I had another camera installed right at the driveway. So you can see who coming down the driveway. So anyway, I'm coming home from the barber shop the other day and my neighbor well, the gun is for if, if I'm home and somebody try to come in, I'm going to shoot you where you're standing. Amen? Um, Because I'm going to see you on one of those four cameras because I got four cameras now. So I'm going to see you on one of them. And I'm going to wait for you to come on in there. And then I'm going to welcome you with that, with, that, with, that, uh, with that 45 I got. But at any rate, listen. So my neighbor uh, across the street reached out to me after this and was like, Craig... We heard about what happened at your house. Whenever you're out of town, let us know. We'll keep an eye out. This is Mr. So it was like two of them talking to me. So the two of them and then my next door neighbor, they all kind of keep an eye on. So like when I went to France, they all knew I left to go to France, even though I got cameras and I could see in France. But what the hell am I going to do from France? So anyway, so they all were kind of like looking at the, uh, at the house while I was gone. And um they would, um, you know, get my mail, collect the mail, you know, shit like that. So anyway, the other day when I came from the barbershop, I see three cops in front of one of my neighbor's house. And I'm like, what the fuck is going on? Uh, <laughs> and so I text him. I say, hey, are you okay over there? He's married. He got a wife and everything. Older guy, probably like my father's age. And so um, I said, you okay over there? Because I see these three cop cars outside. And then there's a white pickup truck out there, too. I said, are you all right? I said, I see the cop. He said, hold on, we're fine now. He said, but there were two. I was doing a one-on-one -on -one with one of you. And I was looking outside my window. And I see these dogs running across the yard across the street. And so back to my message to him, I was like, are you okay? And he said, yeah, we're good. He said, we're good now. He said, but... Um, there's a white guy who has a couple dogs. They said they were pit bulls. I don't know what kind of dogs they were. But they had gotten his backyard. And unbeknownst to me, he and his wife raised rabbits. And so this white guy's dogs, 
that I saw running across the now I passed the Dunkin' Donuts. The white guys, dogs that I see running across. Where am I going right now? Oh, I'm going to the Sam's Club. I almost forgot where I was going. I didn't got so caught up in this story. Would you get out of the way, sir? So I can get over. So, um, hold on. There's a lot going on in this street right here. The dogs got into the man's yard and they were eating up the rabbits. I do have Zell, um, Joanne. Let me put it up here real quick. Here it is right here. It's okay to write at gmail.com. And so he said that the dogs got in the man's rat, it, it got in his rabbits and were killing his rabbits. So his wife went out there to try to shoo the dog away while the dog came at the wife. He shot and killed one of the dogs and shot the other one. The cops were out there because the white guy called the police. And he came down to the house and told him, um, you, um, come on, hurry up. I'm letting one of y'all through. That's it. I'm not letting all y'all out of this parking lot now. One at a time. The man came over to his house, carrying on, called the man all kinds of crazy looney, to looney tunes, said he's always brandishing his gun, which I've never seen this man show his gun. So, you know, I think the white guy may have been adding a little yeast because he was upset because his dog was killed. He said, well, you didn't have to kill him. And then, well, sir, you didn't have to let him out. You, you should have, you should have made, as Judge Judy would say, you didn't have control of your dog. You should have had him on a leash. He should have been he should have been tied up somewhere and he wouldn't have been down there. I've seen one of those dogs plenty of times since I've lived. He was over there trying to fuck with my trash one day. And I had to shoot his ass off. But um, because what you're not gonna do is upset my trash can and I got to be out there picking up trash all out of the grass and shit. Uh-uh, I'm not doing that. So the cops were down there because the man was mad. You know they add a little yeast to the story, Lexi. They add a little yeast to it so that story will rise up a little bit so it'll be a more interesting, okay? So, that's why the, cop, the cops were over there. And so the white guy was in the white truck, the pickup truck. He was going around door to door asking if he knew. But somebody had to snitch on the neighbor who shot the dog because how would the white guy know that the dog was back in his backyard dead? Mm -hmm. somebody had to have told him because we didn't even know who the dog belonged to because this man lives around the corner from us he only live on our street N not on our section anyway he like around the corner so it's like sir you need to keep control of your dog so he was mad he was pissed off and that was the end of that and I'm like girl y'all better hold on but I bet that white man gonna tell all the white people around there with dogs make sure you keep your dog now, this Asian lady was three lanes over. She's trying to call over here to get onto this part of the highway. Ma'am. Driving 10 and 2, but about to take the whole left side of my car off. But, yes, yeah, so that was what was happening around in the neighborhood the other day. And so I was like, oh, my God, what, like, what's going on around here? And then he had told me, the same man who shot the dogs, said that somebody tried to break in his car two nights before. Because he messaged me and was like, hey, thank you, Joanne. I appreciate it. Let me look. Um, but he had told me that somebody tried to break in his car the other day. He said, I just wanted to let you know to keep an eye out because somebody tried to break into my car the other day and they broke my driver's side window. Thank you, Joanne, I appreciate that. I got it. And um, I was like, what? You know, I got my four cameras. I be looking every time my little, my little vivid go off. I be looking. And I be ready to talk to the camera, talk through the camera. Don't come over here, because I'm going to see you. But um, I bought my mother and Gloria's flights the other day to come down for Mother's Day. 
so they will be here for a whole week. Please send me strength right now. Uh, we need to smoke, Mike. Uh, all right. Well, you know how to do it. If you want to book a one-on-one, -on -one, email me. We'll, do, we'll set up a one-on-one. -on -one. Um, <laughs> yes, it's a little warm out, Neat. Um, <laughs> thanks, Joanne. Um, but my mother and my aunt Gloria coming down here. Please be uh, send me some. Uh, be, uh, Lord, be my strength. They are going to be here from the 9th of May to the 16th. Dear God in heaven. Dear God in heaven. And um, I told my mother, I said, go ahead and set up your dialysis down here now, niece. Go ahead and go ahead and make those arrangements. I did put them on Southwest because I think some the people over at Delta had bumped their heads. They will be flying down on Southwest this go round. Amen. They will not be coming down on Delta. What is this that got stuck in my straw? I can't even get it up out of here. What is going on down in here? What's going on there? Piece of ginger or something got a strawberry or something got stuck. Why is it black if it if it's I think it's that protein that's in here. It must be pea protein. Because it's all black, but it's tasty. Um, but yeah, I was going to jump on the live yesterday, but I just, I, you know, I just got to, like Jennifer Lewis said on the thing the other day, on her interview the other day with Robin Roberts, let me turn this AC down. This smoothie ain't got me cold now. Um, you know, sometimes you have to, how does she say it? She said, you have to take care of yourself so you can have something to give the people. Amen? Take care of yourself. I came on last night. I did, I did not come on last night. Was that last night or the night before? Oh, yeah, that was when I did the um, restaurant reviews. I did. Okay, it was the night before I was going to come on. You're right. You're right. You're right. That was last night. I did the restaurant reviews. Uh, yes, you, you know, self-preservation. And so I had to, you know, something you got to take care of yourself so that you can have something to give the world, so you can give to other people. And, like, when she said that, and, again, I'm talking about Jennifer Lewis. She had an interview with Robin Roberts. If you have Hulu, you need to go see it. And if you don't have Hulu, get somebody's login like I did. Um because it was so good. Um, she, she dropped so many gems. And she was like, yes, I fell 10 feet from, you know, from the hotel. But I want people to know that you can get up from anything. You can get up from a divorce. You can get up from a, a breakup, from a heartbreak. From what You can get up from anything. You just have to have the willpower and the desire to do it. That little still voice inside of you is whispering, telling you, you got it in you. You can do this. You can overcome. Listen, y'all know my, my saying is, I can overcome anything. I can overcome anything. And I'm going to be better and different because of it. Better and different. Because of it. I'm going here with the, let me give me some gas over here. I got a half a tank of gas, but I'm just going to go ahead and get this gas. So I ain't got to come back over here. Thank you, dark skins. I think that next, yeah, she said the working title for the next book is called Get Up. But I'm definitely going to get that. Now, I didn't get her second book. I got the first one on audio, which was good. I was laughing at certain parts because she's funny. She tells a story here. She's almost as good as I am. You see what I did right there? Did you see what I did right there? Yeah, she fell 10 feet. And 10 feet don't sound like it's far, but it is when it's rocks and boulders and shit down there. Amen. Sir, you were not supposed to come down this way. Rock it is. Is my gas pump on this side? Yeah. Um... 
Um, uh, thank you, uh, Tanny Joy. Uh, Kira said, man, I'm paying $15 a month. Kiara, did you get all three? Well, I have four books, but I have three that are on Audible. You have all three of my books, Kiara? If you don't, shame on you. <laughs> See, I'm just gonna pull up over here and I'm gonna pull the tank, pull the pull the hose on the other side of the car. Because anybody got time to be waiting in this line. Ain't nobody got time for that. And I just backed up. I just tilt the back of the car so I can so it can reach. Where's Kiara? We waiting to see if she got all three of the books on Audible since she got since she paying fifteen dollars a month. Is she in there? <laughs> Is she still here? Now I can't see him be talking. I gotta go over here and pump this gas. Hold on one second. Now, I can't be holding up the line playing with y'all. I know, Diane. Everybody, put your eyeballs down in the comments. Kiara has a, a, she got a monthly subscription with Audible, and she does not, she doesn't have any of the books on Audible. Now, I have four books and three of them on Audible. Y'all look at her. Let me pump this gas. Put, the, put your eyeballs down here. I cannot believe her. I am disgusted. I am disgusted. I, I cannot believe you. Shame on you. I really can't believe you. Where's my Sam's Club card? I use the, I use the, um, I use the scan and go, but it's asking me for my, it's asking me for the three digit code. Hold on one second. Kiara, I see you. I'm waiting for the attendant, and I'm still... Kiara, don't you even come back over here until you download all of the books. We'll wait. <laughs> We're going to wait for you. What's up? Oh, hi. I have my sales card credit card in here. Let me tell you how dumb this is. 
So I have a Sam's card credit card, right? And you know they have that scan and go. Well, you may not know, but they have scan and go. So you save your card in the app. And then when you go into the store and you make your purchases, you scan your stuff. And then you don't have to get in the line. You don't have to get in the checkout line because it's already saved with your credit card. And then you just swipe it. And then it you, you scan the QRC code. Like, I'm going ahead and I'm going to buy some stuff. I, like, whatever. So you scan the, card, the QR code. It rings it up in the phone. And then you swipe it. And it pays it with the card that you have saved. So I have it saved with my credit card, my Sam's card, credit card. Well, I'm over here trying to get the gas and it asks me for the three-digit security code on the back. Now, I don't have the Sam's card with me because I have the I have the card saved in the app. Niece, I don't have the card. So now I had to use a different card. It's just like Apple Pay. That's just like if you have Apple Pay Every time you do Apple Pay, you got to punch in the three-digit code. That's dumb. That defeats the purpose. That's stupid. Did Kiara download the cards? Because I'm not even talking to her. Till she get, I mean, the books. Because I'm not even talking to her. She'll, she'll be back. She'll check back. Don't check back unless you have the books, niece. She probably ain't even subscribed to the channel. Yo, you subscribe? We got to watch her. She probably ain't even subscribed to the channel. Let me get my... Let me get my Wix Nola. Um, uh, what's this stuff called? Uh, sanitizer. We sure are live, mother, mother goddess... What? Mother goddess baby body. Mother Goddess Body Network. Oh, girl, that's a mouthful. Um, sir, where are you going? This is the one way you should be going forward. Where are you going? There's always somebody trying to break the law. <laughs> Look, I'm still looking over there. <clears throat> I don't know how much I get paid from Audible per book. I don't remember. I, I I did that. I set it up years ago, so I don't even remember what it is per book. Am I going in Sam's? Yeah, I need some uh, 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 Old Bay and garlic powder. I don't like getting the big things of garlic powder because, you know, they get them little, they get all chunky inside. How do you prevent prevent that from happening? Put some rice in the thing. Anybody know that? Don't be making no shit up. If you don't know, just be quiet and let somebody who knows what they're talking about tell me. Because <laughs> there's so many experts. On, <laughs> it so many experts. <laughs> mm -mm. So many experts. Why, why are so many people at the Sands Club today? Okay, put rice in it. Because I need to get some rice. Somebody said shake it. Janice? No, Janny. Janny. Is it Janny? You know, when it, it, start, it gets hard and it, it gets these little clumps in it. You're like, what is that? Tanya talking about what are you asking again? Never mind, niece. Don't even worry about it. If you missed it the first, don't even worry about it. You probably don't even know the answer. <laughs> yeah, don't even worry about it. Look, she can't even keep up with the question. Don't worry about it. Okay, I'm just looking to make you know. Look, baby, the chat be loaded with with, with experts. It doesn't happen to yours. Um, do you buy garlic powder? It doesn't happen to the garlic powder. Aunt Elliot had to go out. Of she is a mess, Marie. Aunt Elliot had to go to um, to a funeral out of town. Oh, Tanya said she was reading her other phone. I was asking, how do you keep garlic powder from getting hard and getting all clumpy where you can't even shake it out because it gets hard? Mm. 
Oh, make sure it's closed tightly. That is that's part of it too, because the moisture gets in there. I need to cook you dinner. Who is this that said that? I said what I said in 1974. You are age appropriate. Are you male, female? Keep it away from the heat. Okay. And I'm gonna put some ice in it. Oh, somebody said use granulated. Okay, okay. No, Joanne said don't hold it over the heat. When I put it in there. Okay, okay. That's a... Oh. Y'all smart. Y'all are smart. You is kind, you is smart, and you is important. Some of y'all gonna miss that. You is kind, you is smart, and you is important. The steam from whatever you're cooking gets in there and it, okay. I'll know that from now on. We're going to sit here and enjoy our smoothie, and then I'm going to go into the Sam's Club. Oh, Rochelle said, that's from the help. Sure is, niece. <laughs> Throw it out at that point. Toss it, my fake Siggy. <laughs> Y'all some damn characters. <laughs> Throw it out at that point. <laughs> ah, that is so funny to me. Oh my god, that was funny. Mm -mm -mm. Listen, if you ordered books uh yesterday or today, they may not be shipped out to tomorrow because it's already 3 30. Okay. Give me a little grace. I got to go into this um Sam's Club. And then I'm gonna go ahead to this gym because if I don't go after I leave the sand club, I am not gonna go. And I'm gonna try to do at least a little something. Um, and I'm not gonna do a lot. I'm just gonna go ahead and do a little something. Something is better than nothing. Amen. Um. I was about to tell y'all. Oh, Janelle said, are, are we going in? Uh-uh, niece. Because I don't have my um, phone holder. You know, my arm be killing me. Uh, Joanne said, are you accepting housewarming gifts? That is so sweet. What you mean for downstairs? Joanne, that is so sweet. What city are you in, Joanne? See, this why, this, this why, this how y'all be setting me up. Because see, then when I do events and stuff, I be feeling compelled to go above and beyond for y'all because y'all be doing y'all be doing such nice things for me. <laughs> uh, Joanne, we're going on a cruise. Let me let me tell Kiara since she ain't bought the books yet on Audible. Kiara, we're going on a cruise. We're going on Virgin Voyage. Yes, today is the last day to book your hotel with the Craig Experience. Thank you, Tanny Joy. I meant to announce that earlier. We're going on a cruise. The cruise is from August 16th through the 21st. We're, we're going to leave from Miami, and we're going to sail down to the Dominican Republic. We're going to stop in Bimini Island, which is a part of the Bahamas. Um, but we're going to all descend on Miami on the 15th of August because we're going to do a private dinner that comes with the Craig experience. So when the link and all of that stuff is for the cruise and stuff is in the, is in the caption of the video. If somebody could put it up, that would be great. Um, we're going to get to Miami on that Thursday though, the 15th, because we're going to do a private dinner, which comes with the package. Um, I think we're going to do the karaoke night that night. And then, cause you know, I love a good karaoke. And then um, we're going to leave Miami. Oh, we're staying at the Intercontinental. Now, if you don't book it today, if you don't book the credit, thank you, Tanny Joy. Here's the link. If you don't book it today, if you don't book your hotel today, then you have to find your own hotel. We have to lock in the rates. So today is the last day. Here go Kiara. This is the same one that didn't download the books. She's sitting there with Amazon. She's sitting there with Audible all this time and ain't downloaded the book. Here she go. Here she go.
But Joanne, yes. Um, <clears throat> what kind of housewarming gift you want to give me, Joanne? Thank you, Frederick. Mm. Now here come Cash App talking about we need to collect some information from you. What? They all want to know your business. They all want to know your business. <clears throat> <laughs> oh my god wait 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 Craig I am compelled to purchase tickets to the city winery Atlanta come on niece if you go on over to fagtalk.com p-h-a-g-t-a-w-l-k.com the tickets for the April 24th show are on sale we're going to be live at city winery We're going to be live at City Winery. The Say It in the Card mobile app is coming soon. It's coming along very nicely. Let me show you a little preview. Let me get down here. Um, <clears throat> we're going to be doing, I'm doing, I mean, I have a greeting card business, Joanne and Kiara. She ain't got the books. We know she don't know nothing about the greeting cards. But um, I have a greeting card business. It's called Say It in a Card. Dot com. Not say it on a card. Say it in a card. Dot com. Say it in a card. Dot com. That's for a physical card. We got breakup cards. Look, look, look at her. You know, I'm, I'm starting to gather, Kiara. You were that student that didn't pay attention at school and then you got home and you didn't know how to do your homework. And when your parents were like, why you don't know how to do this homework? We, we don't know how to do this shit. What were you doing all day? I don't know. She didn't explain this part. No, she explained it. You weren't paying attention. Yes, yeah, Sarita, we have breakup cards. We have trouble relationship cards. We have trouble friendship cards. We have birthday cards, sympathy cards, um, belated birthday cards. I think I said that. We got congratulations cards, missing you cards, friendship cards. But anyway, it's say it in a card.com if you want a physical card. Now, <clears throat> I'm I'm switching it. Uh, you're still going to be able to go to say it in a card.com, but I'm going to have a mobile app because we're becoming more digitized as a as a well we are digitized already. So it's going to be a mobile app and it will be available on uh iOS, iPhones as well as um Wait a minute, let me see what this is. It's going to be available on iOS and um, what's the other phone? Go, uh, what y'all got? Uh, Android. Let me see what um, McKenzie and Childs White Kettle. Uh -uh. Oh, you know what? I have a ke I have two tea kettles already. This is very nice. Oh, it's expensive. Oh, she got money. <laughs> oh, she got money. Oh, she got money. <laughs> um, um, you know what, Joanne? If you really feel compelled, uh, because there are some things that I still need to get for downstairs. Like I don't have a pot and pan set. So if you just want to give me a gift card or something like that, that's fine, and I can just apply that to something this is a very nice tea kettle though but um i had a um uh they kind of twisted my arm and made me um <clears throat> set up a um registry um for downstairs and i got a tea kettle so but these are very nice this is very nice because i am a tea kind of guy <sighs> but at any rate um the greeting cards would be on the app as well as on, oh, let me, show, she said, show it. Okay, so here's the black and white tea kettle. Now, you know, this is fancy. Girl, this is a $200 kettle. If she's going to give me a $200 kettle, how's she going to give me a $200 gift card? Look, on me. <laughs> Look, this is the tea kettle right here, niece. Do you see that? $189. But um, that's very nice. Oh, she's in New York. Joanne is in New York. 
So the mobile app is going to be free. You'll download the mobile app to your Amazon phone, Amazon, to your iOS or to your um, a Android. The app is free. And then you'll pay for the greeting cards that you send. You'll be able to send them via text or via email. Keisha said, I have that tea kettle. Oh, she got money too. <laughs> right, Trent. Anything come for me? Anything come for me? Uh, Tanya Leonard said, I have a few pieces. Thank you, Joanne. Th Here go Kiara with her excuses again. She said, I almost canceled my Audible because I haven't been finding the time to get any books in. I need some good recommendations. And Craig, I promise you, I have all books today. Thanks, niece. We still ain't going to believe it till she get them. No, I'm just playing. <laughs> we, we still ain't going to believe it till she get them. Um, but wait, what was I going to say? Um, it would have complimented my kitchen, but I already have... Uh, Too. And when I spent the night downstairs the other day, I couldn't even cook because I ain't had no pots down there. So I mean, I do that. I do need to get. Um, how much is the the yellow rug? The one that I'm getting upstairs. Oh, you you know I got a friend that works there, so I got a discount. So I only had to pay um, 150 for that because he get a good discount. <laughs> um. But yeah, so you know how like when you send an e um, an evite to somebody, that's how the greeting cards are gonna open up when you send them through text. So I'm still trying to figure out how much individual cards should cost. Can you guys help me with that? Like, how much should an individual card cost if I'm sending a text or 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 an um if I'm sending a text or an email birthday card or a love card or sympathy card? Like, how much should one single card cost? Did we say five ninety nine? Is that what we said? Because these are these are written out cards. This ain't no, no just no little silly card. Rita, you pay more than a dollar for um them cigarettes you be smoking on. Thank you, Joanne. Joanne, I need to hug your neck. You look all snazzy and stuff in your but she got sunglasses on her earrings dangling. Okay, most definitely modest said. Four ninety nine. Okay, you are modest. Yanni says three ninety nine to five dollars. Joanne says five ninety five a card. I agree. I was thinking five ninety nine. Shonda says six dollars. Now, what do you all think in terms of like? Um, I was thinking about offering. Yes, you can purchase individual cards, but I was also thinking about. A monthly subscription, you know, like some people send a lot of greeting cards. A monthly or a yearly subscription. I was thinking, like, if you pay, I don't know, thirty four ninety nine for the year, you get X amount of cards for the year. Um, I'm still trying to figure that out. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. Like bundles, right, uh, Shonda? Because you know, like when Mother's Day come around, you might have five, five or six mothers to send a card to. Who's trying to do that? But if you got a subscription, you know what I'm saying? Uh, Fonte said, good, Hallmark cards are between $5 and $12. Come on, somebody. Yeah, you, you, you're removing the store, and it's, 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 you, it's, it's a convenience thing. And then also, I want to have it set up where you can attach a gift card to it as well. You could attach maybe an Amazon card with it, a gift card, or a uh, Dunkin' Donuts, or a Bath and Body Works, or whatever. I just need y'all to remember once once we get it active and stuff. I just I just need y'all to remember to use it. Okay, so nineteen ninety nine, and you get four cards a month. I like that. I like that. You'll be able to customize the card too. Like you'll be able to do like a blank card and be able to put your own message in it. Or even if you get a card that has a message written in it, you could still kind of like put a personal message in it. 
I think so too, Trent. Thank you, Sean. That's Sean said, I'll support everything you do. That makes me smile. Thank you very much. Um, but yeah, so um, yeah, these will be e-cards. So you'll be able to send it. Because like my mother doesn't know how to text. So if I was to ever send her a card, I would send it through email, right? And then you'll be able to connect your address book in the app. So like you won't have to know the person's email address as long as it's saved in your phone. You won't have to know their phone number. You can just tap the person, the contact name, and then, you know, you'll be able to send it. And let's just say you're sending a Mother's Day card for to four different women, right? You'll be able to choose which card is going to each recipient and then and do it in one transaction. Like you won't have to go back and do four different transactions. You get what I'm saying? Yeah, so that's what I'm thinking. I'll, I'll offer like a yearly subscription and a monthly subscription. So like for the people who sign up for the yearly, you'll just pay one time for the year and you'll get X amount of cards. How many cards should you get for the year? If it's $19.99 a month and you get four cards, what would it be yearly? And how many cards should you get? Because then, like, if somebody's graduation comes up, you can use one of your cards. If some, if it's Mother's Day or holiday, okay, so Stacy is saying $60 for the year. And then how many cards should you get? 12? 15? <clears throat> the, um, the app should be launching any day now. Oh, I was about to show y'all what it looks like right now. So this is what we're looking like, niece. So when you go to the app store, get into it, niece, get into it. 60 cards. I like $39.99 for 12. Let me take a picture of that side because I might not remember this. And Tanny Joy said four, you said four cards for $19.99 for the monthly. Right, I don't know about that price either. Mm -mm. If you get four per month with the subscription, it has to be slightly above that. I agree. Y'all just got, y'all just got to remember the, that y'all got the app on y'all phone. Well, it wouldn't be a seasonal bundle. That's why I'm saying like the monthly or the yearly subscription will work for people who wanted to do bundles of cards because then you can just get them like that. But I think I may, I don't know. I, that might be in the in a version later. Oh, and it's also going to be, here's the other thing. Somebody says schedule. Yeah, we're going to have a schedule too. So, so like you can put like your important dates in. So let's just say you want to remember your mother's birthday or your anniversary or your husband's birthday or whatever. You can put a reminder in there and it, you can set up how soon in advance you want to be remembered, three days, a week, whatever. And then, yeah, so we'll have that in, in there as well. All right, let me show you um, how it looks so far. This is just the functionality of it, okay? I'm going to hit play. So you'll be able to scroll through. You see how it says birthday. We just got dummy numbers in here, so don't think that none of the cards are going to be, any of the cards are going to be $90. So this this is the dummy. We're just looking at it and making sure that it processes properly. So it'll tell you the card. You can customize it. Okay, it'll have different categories. So you have birthday, all of the different categories. You can, you can set up favorites. You can set up your account. Oh, wait, I want to show you all this. And let's say you're on the site, on the app, and it says prefer a personalized card or prefer a physical card. See right there where it says prefer a physical card? It'll take you to the website. Let me pause that. See right there where it says prefer a physical card? Order now. That'll take you to sayitinacard.com. Let's just say you want a physical card in addition to this or as opposed to this. You can. It'll take you there to do that, okay? So that's what's coming. Niece. Um, anyway, let me go in this store. It's been on here for, we, I've been, we've been on here for an hour and 20 minutes. And I ain't got no groceries. Thank you, 2814 love. But yeah, as soon as it, as soon as it's available, I'm going to launch it. I'll post everywhere on all of my social media. Of course, I'll do a live to let you guys know to download it. Again, it'll be free to download. 
Um, yes, Fonte, yes. Um, great idea. Um, I'll, what I'll do is I'll do a live, and again, it'll be free to download the app. The app itself will be free. Um, and then you'll just, you know, whenever you make purchases or some, something like that, you know, you can. Oh, thank you, Joanne. Joanne said, check the, um, check your Zelle. Uh, thank you, Joanne. I got it. I appreciate that. Let me get, let me get Joanne some sugar. Come here, Joanne. Thank you very much. <laughs> <laughs> All right, listen, I got to go. I got to go in here. Uh, Alicia, Monique, I'm going to take us with you. Niece, you know I can't carry. I don't have no, I don't have my tripod to hold y'all. You know, y'all get heavy on my arm. Hey, Naturalista down in Miami. Thank you very much, Joanne. I really appreciate that. I really, really do. Thank you so very much. But anyway, listen, you guys have an amazing weekend. Have an amazing weekend. And um, I'll talk to you soon. Bye.